and I'm back. This time I'm going to be doing the Bruno and Company Auctioneers preview for this Wednesday's comic book auction. If you're interested in seeing what books are in the auction, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Sorry about my voice. is a little uh, a little choppy right now. I'm a little under the weather. Still recovering a little bit. Um, not COVID related. Just have a little cold. But um, we'll try to get through this uh, preview pretty quickly. Um, there's 200 lots in this upcoming Wednesday auction. I like to do these previews whenever they do come up. I did not get a chance to do the last one when I was coming back. I had a newborn. Um, just didn't have any time. But that last auction was absolutely amazing. Probably, bar none, probably the best comic auction I've seen on this uh, auction site. I did pick up some three books on there. Can't wait to show it off. So uh, stay tuned for that video. All right, so like I said, 200 lots, a little bit of everything, Marvel, DC, um, some indies from golden age to modern. So you get a little bit of variety for everyone who's interested. So I'm just going to go through the books, just mention a few things as I see them. And that's it. It's usually you have two weeks from when they go live so you can see the catalog and start bidding to when it goes live with the auctioneer. So uh, you'll see on a lot of these lots that there's already bids. All right, so let's take a look. This is a good book right here, DC Comics, uh, All-Star Comics 58, first appearance of the Power Girl. Decent grade. Excuse me. Um, let's take a look. You got some earlier Spider-Man, issue 26. This is really low grade. I wouldn't really recommend buying it, in my opinion. And when I say that, it's just my opinion. By all means, if you're interested in it, go for it. Um, Spidey 38. I do have this book, but it's in a much higher grade. Eventually, I'll uh, send it off for grading. All right. A couple of first appearances. is ASM 51. First cover of Kingpin. Uh, 81, you got first kangaroo. And the good thing is they, you know, you can zoom in on the books, you can check it out. They do have more information on there that you can look up. A book that's been rather hot is uh, Spidey 124, it's the first man wolf. And usually the companion is 125 but also pretty low grade for the age. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, usually bronze age, I usually look for seven O's or higher when it comes to uh, <coughs> investment. I don't typically go for uh, four rows unless it's silver age. You know, unless of course it's like a major, major grail book. Now getting into some Avengers, nothing really here is significance. Here's a cool book here, it's uh, Batman 386 uh, at a 9.8, it's the first Black Mask. I think that'll go, uh, I think that'll do pretty well. Currently at 120. So if you guys see any books here worth, you know, checking out, potentially bidding, just, you know, go onto the website, register. You got a couple of days until the auction goes live, and uh, you can do some bidding. It's a nice book right here. It's Cap One Eleven at a six O, which is a good grade. Tough book because of that white cover to get that you know looking really white. It's uh, you often see that book in a cream to off white color. Classic Storenko cover. 
bunch of Catwoman side. <laughs> it has a Catwoman fire sale. <clears throat> yeah, first Elric, pretty good grade, seven five. Uh, let's see what else. You got some cool Detective Comics covers. This is a fun cover. I like this uh, Batman cover for Tech 532, classic Joker cover. I think I still have one of those somewhere raw. Good book to spec on right here is Devil Dinosaur. I believe there's a, I think there's a Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur uh, show coming up in the works. Uh, nine six, good grade from 1978. I'd get on, I'd get on that if that was me. Um, Flash one, love that cover. I do have that book in a nine eight. Couple of uh, Forever People ones. I'll be looking at those. See what they go for. First full appearance at Dark Side. Got some Green Lantern. All right, so that's pretty much it for the first page. All right. <clears throat> There's a very undervalued book right there. Is the uh, Hulk 102. I'm surprised this book doesn't go for more. Uh, 4 -0, a little on the low side, but... Still a great book to own. You know, Hulk 340, classic Todd McFarlane. Very common book. It's kind of low for me, a 7 0. This is a good book. Final Issues Journey into Mystery 125. Great. I believe it's a Kirby cover. There's a Golden Age book there, Street and Smith, Super Magician, number nine. This book's really tanked quite a bit. This is Marvel for Man, number 10, ever since the movie dropped from Doctor Strange. We got a couple of decent grades here for Marvel Team of 141. This is a great book. I like this uh, Masses of the Universe. Fun book to have. Here's a Moon Knight one. Here's a New Gods. Hey, Gods, a pretty good grade, 5-5. Five, five. Just trying to go through this as quickly as possible. She-Hulk one, it's been a rather hot book. Some mixed feelings about the uh, trailer. Let me know what you guys thought about the trailer. I wasn't a big fan. There's a few spawns, geez. Two 9.8s and a 9.6. None of them are newsstands. Classic Spider-Man 1. And a 9.8 in one of them. There's a Static 1 and a 9.8. A bunch of Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 1. Great series to have, especially with the upcoming phase. You're going to be doing a lot of tie-ins with Secret Wars. A classic Spidey. Secret Wars 8. Nice book to have. Which I do not have. Really undervalued book in my opinion. Tales of the Teen Titans 44. If you don't have one, I recommend it. Super undervalued for the character that it is. And you got a 9.6, 9.4, and 9.2 to bid on. Another hot book, Thor 337. A couple of those. And let's see what else we got here. Some Walking Deads. Wolverine. Got to have some Wolverine. And then, of course, you start to finish off with the X-Men. Everything's alphabetical, just so you guys know. It makes it easier when you're doing the auction, knowing that everything's alphabetical. And let's see. Fun book. I like this book a lot. It's X-Men 120 and 121. Good spec play. I do have a copy myself. 
another one of those books that I got to get submitted one day. <clears throat> but a 9-0 is a good book. A good book to have in that in that uh, issue. 9 really difficult to get in that book. That's why it commands the premium that it does. It's funny because it's one of those few books where the first appearance is worth more than the first full appearance. This is a good example. All right, getting on to the last page. So I'm going to wrap this up. Let's see some more X-Men. Everybody loves this book. X-Men 221. First Mr. Sinister. And then there's your first cover appearance at <clears throat> 239. And then my personal favorite, 266. First Gambit. First full, whatever you want to call it. And wrapping off with Young Avengers 1 at a 9.0. Another good spec book. So uh, that's it. You know, 200 lots Wednesday evening. Um, go check out the site if you're interested in any of those books. And happy bidding. Um, I'll be definitely looking at some of those lots, seeing if I can get something. And uh, if I do, I'll make a follow-up video. So uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the preview. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.